Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And today I thought I'd film a facts about me video. I don't know how many facts it's gonna be because I'm basically planning. I've written some on my phone, but I'm planning on like, saying as many as I can. I've recently had a lot more new subscribers and followers on Instagram and stuff, so um, I thought maybe it'd be interesting for you guys if I answer some questions to do with me. Um, so you can know who it is that you're following and a bit more about me and if you have any more questions that I don't answer feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll film a Q&A which can be like my next personal video so if you guys are interested in learning some facts about me then please keep watching and if you do like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so we can spend more time together and you guys can keep up with me <laughs> Okay, so um, my first fact about me is just like some statistics, statistical stuff, like plain. Uh, I'm 22 and my birthday is the 15th of March, so I'm a Pisces. Um, I was born and raised in London and my family moved here almost 30 years ago. Um, so I don't know, I would say we're quite traditional Iranians in that we keep a lot of our like Iranian traditions like New Year, so Nowruz, and we love watching like Iranian programs. We go to Iran like several times I've been in my life and I used to go every summer when I was younger. So um, yeah, I do know a lot about the tradition. I can speak fluent Farsi. So yeah, both my parents are Iranian and um, like they never let me speak English at home. I was only allowed to speak Farsi. So yeah, I think that they tried to raise me as traditional as they could here in London and I went to like Iranian school for like 13 years, so um, yeah. Um, the second fact about me, I used to be scared of pigeons and I was literally scared of pigeons my whole life until um, this summer when I went to Cannes. Um, my friend April, if you watch the can vlog, she features in that. She really helped me. It was I told her literally the moment we arrived um, that it was something that I've always wanted to get over was my fear of pigeons. We were sitting outside Starbucks and some pigeons came and I was like, I hate that I can never sit like outdoor places because I jump and I scream and sometimes like, I don't scream always, but I just, I jump and I move or I get really uncomfortable and sometimes friends or, or like, not even friends, but like people who barely know you think that they can be rude about it and it just upsets me because I feel like at the end of the day, when people have phobias, they they can't help that they feel that way. Like I wish, I used to wish like I was, just, I was completely fine around pigeons, but I wasn't. Um, and it's obviously uncomfortable because every time you go out to eat or you sit outdoors in London, there's pigeons everywhere or you go to the park. So um, yeah, I told her and she helped me make a conscious effort to like basically take small steps. So first I would try like to like hold her hand and not move when they'd come. Um, like first with my feet up, then slowly sitting with my feet like down and then like kind of, um, I don't know what the word is, it's totally slipped from my head. Um, but like, yeah, I trained my brain to get over the fear. I'm not 100% over it, I'm not 100% cool, but like, I'm gonna insert a picture of me in Milan. There was pigeons all around me and I kept my cool, like, as much as I could. So I was really, really proud. Like, the old me would not even be able to go and stand in front of the cathedral to take a picture. Third fact about me, I have uh, never ever coloured my hair. I don't know why I came up with these random facts last night, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, I've never ever coloured my hair and it's naturally straight. Like, this is my hair um, with, like, literally nothing in it. I don't even dry it. I, um, in summer, I cannot be bothered to dry my hair. I'll just let it air dry. Um, but it's like my dad. My dad has naturally straight hair and I've always wanted to colour my hair jet black, like, for the past year or two. But my mum is always like, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret the texture of your hair and the natural colour and all of this. Enjoy it while you don't have greys. So I'm just taking her advice on it. So yeah, this is my natural hair colour and my natural hair. And also it's really long so I keep fidgeting with it and I'm really sorry if it's annoying you. It's annoying me too. Fact number four. Uh, I study medicine in London and I am currently in my fourth year. 
Um, and I'm gonna go a bit deeper. I actually went to a private school in London for sixth form and um, that was called Highgate School. Uh, shout out to the OCs. And I went to a private school before that as well, all girls school for GCSEs and that was called The Mount. And the only reason I'm including that information in my vlog is because I have a video on uh, getting into medical school and a lot of people ask me if I went to private school and I guess they want to know if that had like an effect on or if I felt like that you know helped me in any way um, for getting into medical school and um, I feel like my support system was really good um, I had a teacher Dr W I'm gonna not say her name because she doesn't want me to say it but she is incredible and she was in charge of like medical school admissions and that really helped me having someone who had like helped kids every year in sick form get into medical school um her guidance really helped me um but i don't think going to a private school um aids you or doesn't aid you i think it's all to do with your own um, merit and hard work so long as you know what's expected of you um then that's it really because for example in my university i know I have so many friends and like there is barely like anyone from private schools or like I would say that like, there's more people from private school there is way more people from state schools than there are from private schools so yeah sorry if I look different my memory card died um, the next fact about me um, kind of related to the medical school one is that I want to be a pediatrician so that means I want to be a doctor for babies. All the consultants that I work with now say I might change my mind or whatever, but I actually really love babies. I love working with them. It's a whole other dynamic to have a patient who can't tell you what is wrong with them and also dealing with their parents. You know, I think every parent that I hear, including my own parents, always say that it's one thing if something happens to you, but if something happens to your kid, it's a whole nother thing. So, you know, you're uh, when you're a pediatrician, you're helping you know the whole family in, in my eyes so I don't know I find it I think for me what I've seen so far I would love to be a pediatrician fact number six I believe um, so I have had almost like six different kinds of jobs um, and I started working when I was 16 but the one job that I stuck to from when I was 16 to when I was 21 was tutoring so after I got my GCSEs um, so my first year of A-level I was still 16 and I um, got my first student um, and he was in year eight then and he actually just got into uni like a week ago so congrats to you uh, I'm super proud of you so I do um, yeah so I tutored biology chemistry maths English literature language English as a second language um, geography and history all at GCSE level and then I taught um, science maths and economics at A level level um, after I obviously finished my own A levels and it was a really really good way for me to earn money in my gap year I basically used that tool to earn enough money to buy my own first car which comes to my next fact I think it's fact number seven uh, I bought myself my first car it was a BMW 1 series uh, I remember at the time I felt really shy to like tell my friends that I bought my car myself um, just because I don't know why I felt I have no idea why I felt shy like I, I think it was just because I knew like a lot of my friends like their parents had bought their car or whatever so um, I felt like I didn't want them to feel weird that I bought my own car also I didn't want them to think I was weird that I bought my own car Rocky shush sorry that was my dog um, yeah, I don't know why I felt shy, but yeah, I bought my first car myself. It was this cute little white one series and um, I really, really loved it. It was a great first car. I really recommend it um, for any of you out there who can obviously have it in your budget and can afford it. Um, it was a really, really great first car to have, really good to learn in. So yeah, fact number eight I think I'm on. I'm sorry if these numbers are not making sense. Um, but my favorite food is Italian food and sushi. Um, I, Italian's probably, yeah, Italian's probably more my favorite than sushi, but then I don't know because I love them both so much. Um, but I thought, I do get DMs about this, so I thought I'd tell you guys that my favorite Italians in London um, are Cipriani, so see London, um, but there's Cipriani's all around the world, and Nobico Italian, they're my top two. 
And then my favorite for sushi is uh, Roka Oka uh, Nobu and Nobukov Asian. So yeah, I've got like four, one, four that I love for sushi. And I've got way more than two that I love for Italian, but I just thought I'd tell you guys my top two um, just for the sake of like, if you guys ever wanna try it out. Fact number nine, I think. So the next fact, um, I didn't have social media until I left school when I was 18 and I only got it to like keep in contact with my friends. Um, so yeah, I never had Facebook or um, Instagram or Snapchat. I think I got Snapchat maybe towards no, I think I got it when I left, or maybe in year year 13. But I did, never had Facebook, never had Twitter or Instagram until I left school. And um, at first I wasn't allowed to have it, so when I was like 13 and stuff. And then when I got old enough to be allowed to have it, I didn't really want it, just because I was like, I've gone this whole time without, so I, I'm not really sure like what the hype is. And then when I left school, I realized that I want to keep in contact with my friends. That's when I made Instagram as well. And that's where I came up with the name Persian Bunny. Um, and Persian Bunny was literally just, I was thinking like of a fun Instagram username. I didn't want it just to be my name. And then I was like, I want something that's like cheeky and fun. And I kind of collided like Persian, which is what I really like affiliate myself with. Um, and Bunny, which was like, I don't know, like fun, like cheeky bunny or uh, like, Playboy bunny, even though I'm nothing like a Playboy bunny. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just trying to come up with something cool and different. And that's where I got Persian bunny from. And I guess it stuck and it was memorable. And I remember there was a point where I would like go out and in my area and when people would try to talk to me or when boys would try and talk to me, they'd be like, Oi, Persian bunny. And I'd be like, that's not my name. But it kind of stuck. And now I guess I'm here with it for life and I'm owning it. <laughs> Fact number nine, uh, I have a chihuahua. His name is Rocky and he has three legs. Um, he has three legs because he got into an accident. Don't really like talking about it because I get upset. Um, but yeah, I love him very much. I don't really show him on my social media and stuff. Um, but he's a lot, he features a lot on my Snapchat. I just don't really post pictures of him. I don't know, I don't know why. I feel like I just, I, I love him, I have loads of pictures of him, but I just never ever like post pics of him online. My sister does, um, Dr. Salsa, but I, I don't, I take snaps of him. Um, but yeah, he's very, very adorable. And the next fact about me, I think this is fact number, I don't know, like 10 or 11, um, if it's fact number 11. Uh, I used to belly dance when I was a kid. Um, I learnt when I was three I started like just dancing I just dance at home in front of the mirror and my mum really used to encourage it and then on sat like I used to go to Iranian school on Saturdays and my mum used to make me perform on stage and I kid you not if you are a North London Iranian mum you probably have a video of me like on those old school cassette things of me belly dancing on stage um it, I remember that like I used to find it like super mortifying before I went on stage and then afterwards I'd be like oh my god so cool I did that and I guess it was kind of cool skill to have um, but I haven't done it in ages. That is about like 10 or 11 facts about me, some of them were a bit merged um, but I just thought that maybe you guys would enjoy knowing a little bit more about who you're watching. That is the end of this video, if you enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below. I make videos pretty much every single week and sometimes I try and upload twice a week so I'd love it if we could all keep up with each other. Uh, I'll have my socials linked down below but my Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is the Persian Bunny and my snap is Seppi Samai. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.